Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about J.K. Rowling again, because, yeah, why not? Why not? Mm. Uh, it's really interesting. I mentioned in another video that the BBC had to apologize to J.K. Rowling for allowing one of their commenters, one of their guests, to defame her. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting because the person that defamed... Uh, allegedly. 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 The person that allegedly defamed J.K. Rowling was actually Stacey Henley, who is the editor-in-chief of The Gamer, who writes articles like this, Games Media Has Failed, The Hogwarts Legacy Test. I could just put Games Media Has Failed, and that pretty much sums it up, because games journalism has been bullshit for a long time. Yeah, and this actually shown, shown a huge spotlight on it, right? Uh, anyway, what, what was interesting about this from our point of view is that uh, Henley was actually debating with one of our writers from clownfishtv.com, mm -hmm. Jake James. And, uh, you know, it's it's funny because, you know, he kind of got caught up in this whole thing. His whole thing was like, you know, the game is the game. You can support it, not support it, whatever, but you shouldn't attack, you know, players for wanting to buy it. And Stacy was like, no, you have a moral obligation to not play this game, not support her, whatever. But I don't condone attacking people, but it'd be a real shame if... Anyway, uh, she said some very... Uh, uh, she had a very scathing critique of J.K. Rowling, and the BBC had to apologize. Now they have to apologize again. Yeah. Again. So the BBC, and I think what's going on here, is that J.K. Rowling is on a lawsuit spree, and she's starting to get serious about shutting people down who are spreading rumors about her. I don't think she's Nazis. doing a lawsuit yet. I think she's threatening them. She's threatening them. And because normally I don't think the BBC would have apologized for this, especially knowing their political leanings. I think they would have been like, yeah, yeah, chicks a Nazi, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but now they're apologizing again, twice in a month. And I think that it's shit's getting real. I think she's like, hey, I am a multi, multi-billionaire and if I got to gotta spend a little bit of money to shut these people down, I'm going to do it mm -hmm. because my, my legacy is on the line here. And this, of Well, course, she doesn't care about her legacy, she said. She says she, she does. She says she doesn't care. She doesn't think about it all the time because she'll be dead. She has that uh, the Witch Hunt podcast out this week where she's talking. And what was it, like freaking 15 parts it or something? It was two and so far. Two so far. It's going to be an ongoing. It's gonna, I don't know how long it's going to go. It's going to be like one of those one of those. Uh, you have detective, uh, detective podcasts where they just drag the case out for like 15 episodes. I don't know. But, you know, she said that she wasn't like, she's not pretentious enough to sit at her house and be like, oh, my legacy all the time. She's probably more like, hey, I don't like people uh, showing up at my house when I'm sitting at my house uh, or, or telling other people to go, you know, do do stuff to my house or my kids or my, you know, employees or whatever. And I don't well, blame the her. The irony is she took so much shit back in the day because uh, she wrote a book about wizards. Yes. And then she said after the fact that Dumbledore was gay and all this other stuff. And she took all the crap from the extremists yes. on like the, the right. Yes. The far, far right. Because those people that are just like, you know, whatever. And now she's taking all this shit from the extremists on the far, far, far left. And it's just a bunch of, of insanity. Pretty much everybody hates her. Everybody hates JK. Well, that's okay. They're, they're coming for uh, Roald Dahl, too. So yes. uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 295,000 subs. Finally, uh, almost 300,000. So please subscribe to help get us to 300,000. Uh, we have been talking about JK Rowling and Hogwarts Legacy a lot. Because it has become a massive, massive uh, divisive issue here, cultural issue. And it's become a much bigger deal in gaming circles than we could have ever possibly yeah. expected. And, uh, you know, it's selling games. All the controversy is actually just selling more and more games. Yep. Yeah, it had the opposite effect of what activists wanted. Well, just like when, when the other activists on the other side wanted to get the books banned, all it did was make people read the books more. Yeah, you like, know? oh, I got to read this. Wow, they want to ban it? They're angry? Right. I got to read this. So the same thing happened, you know, 20 years ago the other way. Yeah, so, I mean, she shouldn't be any stranger to this. But, yeah, this is coming from uh, Deadline. BBC apologizes to J.K. Rowling for the second time this month after she was accused of being transphobic. Uh, the BBC apologized to J.K. Rowling in less than a month, second time after she was accused of having transphobic views on a live current affairs show. In a discussion about Harry Potter video game Hogwarts Legacy on BBC Radio Scotland's Good Morning Scotland show, a transgender woman said she had boycotted the game because it was being used to fund the anti-trans movement. 
Terry Marshall, a writer and broadcaster, said this is having a measurable effect on trans people's lives and potentially our safety, too. I think that's why so many trans people are concerned about the game. Uh, the BBC said it reviewed audience complaints about the discussion, which broadcast on February 10th, in a statement. It said the exchange did not meet editorial standards, uh, just like all of games journalism. Yeah, it games did, journalism is ridiculous. <laughs> it did not meet editorial games, I think some j- games journalism up as this. You're the bad guy. I'm going to bully and berate you, and I'm going to pigeonhole everyone who doesn't agree with me as being basically straight, white, and male. Yeah. Um, and that's my journalism. I did a journalism today. I did a journalism. I roll a journalism, everybody. <laughs> oh, it wasn't very effective. Uh, anyway, the debate got into the issue of gender identity and claims were made about J.K. Rowling's views. We accept that the program failed to challenge these claims and acknowledge that our contributors gave their opinion as fact. That's kind of what happened with the other show, too. So it's games journalism. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. Um, Basically, you know, she is a transphobe because we said so. This is a fact. This is indisputable. And that is like so many of these pop culture news outlets. And I think a lot of the reason that they're not challenged is they're not important enough to be noticed. I would say people don't care. You know, like real journalists aren't working for these websites. Let's be honest. They're fans. They're activists. um, And I don't think that they're being held to the same editorial standards. However, people are doing damage with them. They're throwing a bunch of garbage out there. They're calling people names. Hell, they've got us on a couple um, saying that we're, you know, things that we're not. I mean, we literally had one of the editors of Anime News Network publicly call us Nazis. Right. You know why? Because we said with the Vic Mignogna thing that let the courts decide. Let the none courts of us decide. Have, none of us have access to all the evidence and let the courts decide. That's what we said. Yeah, and I still maintain to this day. I'm actually neutral on Vic Mignogna. I said, you know, I'm not saying he didn't do stuff he shouldn't do. I'm saying I haven't seen any smoking gun or any proof. And, the, and then that they had to the walk things. back their quote unquote evidence and, re, and, you know, do a retraction because people that they took the pictures from said, that was not the case at all. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. No, just a very, very uh, uh, similar example. You b- basically have to believe these people because they said so. Um, this fell below the rigorous editorial standards we've applied to our <laughs> BBC. Yes, to okay. our broad uh-huh. coverage of trans and gender recognition stories across BBC Scotland's news and current affairs output, and we apologize. The ruling came despite another gamer, Lee Robb, arguing in favor of purchasing Hogwarts Legacy. So this is very similar to what happened Mm. with uh, Jake James Lugo and Stacey Henley that, uh, you know, we had a for and against. And I actually thought it was a pretty good debate. But I I will admit, I mean, Henley's uh, stance on it was like, it hurts my feelings. Don't buy it. And you have a moral obligation not to buy it. And my feeling on that is if you personally don't feel like you should buy or support a product, then don't do it. Right, that's what I keep saying, too. Don't do it. No one's making you. But you don't have a right to demand that other people do the same thing or especially not threaten other people Mm -hmm. if they do that. Now there's this whole conspiracy on Twitter now that's like, it's just the alt-right making the threats on the Twitch. I'm like, Oh, and saying it's us? And saying Mm -hmm. it's us. I'm like, I've literally seen people talking about you know, that the uh, the streamer should get what's coming to them on places like Resetera and there's... Right, no, all, they're just all, all yeah. right people infiltrating. Look, yeah, I mean, right. I think that does happen sometimes. I think people will... It, there'll be a caricature of the, the other side. I've seen it before. It does happen. I'm sure some of the instances are that. Is it the majority of the instances? Hell no. Is it like all the explanation? No! Yeah. So, yeah, they talk about the other one, Radio 4's uh, PM show... Uh, failed to meet BBC standards after an attack on rolling from transgender gamer Stacey Henley went unchallenged. Uh, they, basically, yeah, Henley said, matter of fact, like she's this these is the horrible. truth because we said so. Yeah, it's the truth because we said so. And this is not like we feel. And they should have said, well, of course, that's your opinion or disclaimed it like, you know, opinions on the show don't necessarily represent factual statements. And then you have like, you know, outlets doing, you know, stories on her and why she's a feminist icon. And then you have the Mary Sue pretending to be that all that writer and, and and then doing, you know, parody posts, you know, about how someone who's put dog crap on someone's face is okay because of their side of the story. Yeah. You know? So I want to talk about this, the, the Mary Sue in particular, they're, they're really going, I mean, a lot of these outlets are going hard. Imagine that the Mary Sue is just struggling to stay relevant. Yes, it's not they that they even care as much as they pretend to. They just want to get attention. So in the past week, they have dumped a ton of JK Rowling. It's articles. like every day, like several times a day. Yeah. And it's all, you know, New York Times knew what it was doing defending J.K. Rowling. Yeah, he did that. And then the same, I think it's the same author 
um, turned around to the one about it's like the critic with smearing crap on their dog yeah. crap on someone's face. You know, twenty books like Harry Potter to read instead of supporting J.K. Rowling. Um, I give you twenty sites to read instead of supporting the Mary Sue. You're trying to avoid supporting her. Don't let uh, what? Don't let the door hitch on the way out. Oh, don't don't let this uh, blocker because they need the ad revenue, right? Don't let this popular HBO show fool you. What does that have to do with? So basically, they're getting hits on anything J.K. Rowling. So they're just sticking it on. They're everything. just putting it like it should be so like. Wait, which is worse? I, I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for like, you know, if J.K. Rowling wrote the Last Jedi, the toxic man babies would have loved it. Or <laughs> something. I mean, at that point, you're just using you're using this. You know? You're monetizing. You're you're. So I I hope. I, I mean hope. I mean we can't say much ourselves, but the difference is we're just calling out the bullying behavior. Yeah, we're monetizing you bitches too. So whatever. Um, no, but like. So I hope all of that ad revenue that you're raking in by doing endless all five dollars, endless J.K. Rowling stories. I hope you're giving it all to the Trevor Project because that is the moral thing to do. Right. I want to see an accounting. I want to see that the Mary Sue has done nothing but donate all of its ad revenue. You guys have gone for a month without getting paid. Not that it's going to make much difference because I don't think they get paid much anyway. But but you guys have gone for a month without getting paid. And you've given all your money to the Trevor Project because that is the just moral thing to do. I mean, if you're going to cover it at all, because shouldn't you not be talking about it at all? Shouldn't you be not covering it? Shouldn't you be, like, not mentioning it? Because, it, you know, it's it's helping the, to promote the sales of the game. It so is. So why are you covering it at all? You shouldn't cover it at all. And if you are covering it, it's your moral obligation to give money to charity. It is. Um, but if you do that, we're, you know, you're going to harass you because you shouldn't be doing it at all. Right, right. Oh, this is yesterday. Harry Potter fans criticizing J.K. Rowling are only doing what she herself taught us. I mean, they're trying every angle to guilt you into not buying or playing or supporting this game, including yesterday. We did the uh, the video talking about the uh, Hogwarts Legacy purchase simulator, which has been taken down. Oops. Oops. It's been taken down because it was factually Stupid. Stupid. Factually inaccurate. There were a lot of things in there that made no sense whatsoever. And it was sure just... I'm sure wasn't too happy about it. He probably had it shut down because they were like, say he says something he didn't say. Oh, I'm sure. And it was just it was just a stupid, a stupid thing. It was like one of those, you know, PETA flash games they used to do back in the day, like the Cooking Mama one or whatever. And people play it just because it was funny to watch Cooking Mama just go like freaking ape shit on a turkey and like the blood and the feathers and the... I didn't play it. Yeah, because you wouldn't have liked it because she went ape shit on a turkey yeah. and the blood and the feathers. And you like Cooking Mama. I didn't like Cooking Mama that much. I thought you liked Cooking no, Mama. No, you just always said I was Cooking Mama. Well, yeah, you were. Yeah, the fire eyes. Yes, it, it does happen. Literally, like her eyes light on fire when she's mad at me. And she's like, I know something's wrong because she comes around the corner. But I could feel the heat. Right. I could feel the heat. I'm like, oh, well, either the fire, somebody lit the fireplace or it's all oh, geeky's angry at me. What I do now? I think the internet feels the heat too. They do. They do. Can you feel the heat now? All right. Um, so anyway, I uh, the boredom. We're never born. What are you talking about? So yeah, guys, this is funny though. I mean, again, they have the BBC have to walk it back twice, and that knowing their political leanings, that that tells me that somebody's mm, lawyer called. Somebody's lawyer called. Yes, their solicitor. Yeah, they call it solicitor. But the yes. solicitor, and she's made no uh, bones about she hasn't hidden the fact that she is she's willing to even uh threaten a lawsuit against twitter randos so the bbc that's a pretty big deal well you're gonna have to because it doesn't end um i you know i'm getting the point now where if we have people continue to say shit about us that's not true that's e easily disproved you might be getting a call from our solicitor yeah, but you know what to be fair when the harry and megan are doing that for south park and everybody's like haha that's stupid you shouldn't sue that's because it's a parody. I'm talking about people like literally calling us Nazis. You know, those those people need to get smacked down. Bam. Feel feel my fire eyes. All right. Are we going to wrap it up? Yep. All right. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.